Everything is fucked up in old blighty. Dwindling economy, sickening healthcare, and the world's worst politicians. And now it is getting even more fucked up. We will tell you all about it, but before that, if you're a fan of non-corporate funded free news and analysis, you've landed on the right YouTube channel. We publish three videos a day, first at 9.15 a.m. EST, second at 1.30 p.m. EST, and the third at 5.30 p.m. EST. So if that's of interest to you, next time you visit London, ask the mayor to name it Londonistan. Okay, let's begin. On March 1st, RT Television's editor-in-chief Margarita Simonian released a recording featuring a nearly 40-minute conversation among four German Air Force officers. This discussion notably covered the utilization of German tourist missiles by Ukraine in strikes on the Crimean Kerch Bridge, provoking speculation on the German military's potential involvement in such operations. The leak sparked diplomatic tensions, leading to the summoning of the German ambassador by the Russian foreign ministry and the German chancellor's candid admission. In the leaked audio, a conversation among high-ranking military officials unveils the undisclosed extent of British military involvement in Ukraine, a subject that has evaded widespread media discussion. General Ingo Gerhardt, the commander of the German Air Force, disclosed the United Kingdom's collaboration with Ukraine, particularly in employing Kiev's long-range storm shadow missiles. These missiles, noted for their precision and ability to strike targets up to 250 kilometers away, have become a pivotal asset in Ukraine's military strategy. Gerhardt detailed the operational methodologies employed by the British, revealing that while the mission planning predominantly occurs remotely, there is a tangible British presence on the ground, a contrast to the operational strategies of other nations such as France. This on-ground involvement primarily facilitates strikes deep within the front lines, including operations in Crimea. Despite Russia's claim over Crimea, the international consensus recognizes it as an occupied Ukrainian territory, thereby amplifying the geopolitical ramifications of such military actions. The revelation of British soldiers actively participating in operations within Ukraine, as stated by Gerards, has elicited responses from various quarters. Kremlin spokesperson Dmitry Peskov interpreted this as concrete evidence of the collective West's direct involvement in the Ukrainian conflict. Meanwhile, Tobias Elwood, a former British Deputy Defence Secretary, suggested that the presence of British military personnel in Ukraine was likely already known to Russian intelligence. Following these revelations, the United Kingdom acknowledged the presence of British troops in Ukraine for the first time, marking a significant disclosure about the nature and depth of its military engagements in the region. However, the roles these troops are performing, particularly in relation to the Dnieper operations, remain unspecified. Prior disclosures and discussions regarding the UK's military engagement in Ukraine have consistently downplayed or outright dismissed allegations concerning British troops on the ground. Despite this stance, high-ranking British military officials have acknowledged the UK's involvement in Ukraine. Notably, reports have lauded the British military for its significant contributions towards the impairment of Russian naval assets. The Times highlighted that the UK's general staff under Admiral Tony Radkin's leadership was actively involved in strategizing and executing operations against the Russian Black Sea Fleet. Moreover, Radkin's involvement extended to various covert operations within Ukraine, all designed to undermine Russian military capabilities. The recent leak of audio recordings, however, has shifted attention squarely back to London, revealing a more direct level of UK involvement in the conflict than previously admitted. This exposure has heightened tensions with Moscow perceiving the action detailed within the leaks as tantamount to a declaration of war. Maria Zakharova, the Russian Foreign Ministry spokeswoman, vociferously condemned the UK's actions, asserting that there is irrefutable evidence of UK intelligence and special services involvement in the conflict in Ukraine, including participation in acts deemed as terrorism on Russian soil. Zakharova emphasized that Russian intelligence had long been aware of British involvement, contradicting London's persistent denials by claiming that any British presence was merely composed of individuals acting as volunteers. The distinction between volunteers holding UK passports and an official British military presence underscores the gravity of the situation. London's refusal to acknowledge the direct involvement of its military forces as revealed 
through the leak audio completely exposes it. The UK is probably miffed at Russia because Russia is now the most dominant economic and military force in Europe, a position once it enjoyed. Want to know how rich and strong has the war made Russia? Watch this video. 